what's going on guys today we are going to be reviewing and also doing an unboxing first impressions and then review of my newest headset that i have bought for listening to music and all that good stuff so these are the sennheiser hd 206s as you guys can see and obviously you get a two-year warranty with it and everything like that so that's really nice but these headphones are really nice designed and everything like that and they were pretty cheap on amazon so that's why i bought them so let's get into the unboxing now they were about 22 pound on amazon which for me personally is a really cheap headset especially from a company like sennheiser so there's a little tab on the back there you open that up then you can get this up and the actual headphones are in this nice little bag here and there's nothing else in the box so let's put that down there so obviously you can see there's a little bit of tape on here you've got to pull that off and then open it up and this is nice this little bag here is what helps protect your headset you know while it's in the box and everything like that it's pretty sturdy pretty nice and then we have a massive cluster of wires here which i thought would be a little bit tighter than it actually is but on here you've got obviously you've got the adjustable headband on either side you can make it really really you know massive if you want to honestly there is a little bit of flex if you guys can see that but i don't think that's a bad thing necessarily it is a plastic headset and you know you want it to be comfortable you want it to be expandable and everything like that so i'm gonna go ahead and put these on my head and see what they feel like and yeah i can the noise isolation is actually really really good i can't really hear myself talk very much so hopefully i'm not peeking the microphone too much but that's pretty good they're very very comfortable as you guys can see you've got a leather headband here you've got leather ear cups and I'm surprised that these don't like fold, so you can't really do that. You can't really fold them down like you could with some of the other headphones that I've had in the previous years. But yeah, let's see how long this lead is. And um, yeah, let's see how this long long this lead is. Holy moly, that's uh, that's that's pretty long. Um, yeah, I <laughs> I'm gonna put these on the monitor so you can sort of like see where they are. Um, the monitor is like right over here and you guys can see this like I, I basically it's the length of my it's the width of my room if not more like I don't even have like it's not even kinked and it is basically touching the wall from the other side of the room so yeah the I think it's about three meters, it says on the packaging, I think it's about three meters the cord is. So if you do want to walk about and just leave your headphones plugged in, you can do that. And if you're still watching a movie or something on a TV screen or whatever, you can lie in bed or whatever and have it plugged up and not have to worry anyone because you've got your headphones on and you can just plug it straight in and the cords are long enough to reach. So that's really cool. I do have to say that I think for general people, like just walking around in general, you guys can see that I'm I'm about five foot ten. The lead is probably three times my height or two times my height. It is you have to like basically you have to literally bundle it up to get it to be short enough to go like down from here through your top and down into your pants or whatever where your phone will be in your pocket. As you guys can see, that's probably about the length you would need. And look how much coil there is. So, yeah, definitely a lot of lead. So, moving on to the actual review of this headset, the sound quality is amazing. And I'm not just saying that because I like the new headphones that I bought. I have to say that they blew everything out of the water when it came to my expectations. I had a pair of Sony HD... 10s or HDX 10s or something like that. I'll put them up on the screen and they were about a 40 pound headset This was 22 or 23 pound when it comes to sound quality like I said these are very very impressive and I have to say they are the best pair of headphones that I have ever had and That's by quite a long shot when it comes to volume They are really really nice
So when it comes to the loudness of these headphones powered by my S8 here, they are uncomfortably loud. I mean, like, if I play it full blast, I don't want it full blast, I have to turn it down because it's too loud. Now when it comes to the ear cups and everything like that, you guys can see here, the inside is like a foam on a plastic sort of base, and I feel like that is comfortable enough. It's not you know the craziest amount of you know comfort or anything like that it's nothing like you know the fabric ear pads that i have on my astro a40s and stuff like that but i don't want to be walking around with a gaming headset on or anything like that these obviously you can see the sennheiser logo though you can see that they are pretty darn adjustable like i mean you could get someone else's head in here probably like Obviously because of how large they go. I mean if I put that on my head look how much space there is like that's insane So they're built to last they're built to you know be a very very good product for a wide variety of people Yes, the adjustability of the ear cups is a little sort of limiting But for 20 pound or whatever. I think these are one of the best headsets that you can buy for your money. I have to say that I have wanted a pair of Sennheiser headphones because I have heard really good things about them and the sound quality of these is just way out there. It is so much better than I ever expected and it blew the water out of the £40 Sony headphones that I had previously, it blew the water out of the JVC headphones that I had previously. And, you know, the Sony headphones, I was very, very impressed with, and I bought more than one pair of them over a course of, like, three or four years. And, yes, the outside of them was metal instead of, like, this plastic and stuff like that, and they lasted a very long time. They lasted me about two years on the trot or something like that, and that was just one pair, and then I got another one that lasted the same amount of time. So hopefully the durability of these headphones is going to last as well. And, you know, when it comes to my full-on review, I will be going into sound te quality tests, comparing to other headphones, and much more when it comes to that. But you're going to have to wait a couple of months at least for me to do my full in-depth review of these headphones. So, ho so hopefully you guys enjoyed this review of the Sennheiser HD 206s. And if you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.